If you've ever wondered how to better market your music, chances are you fell down a YouTube rabbit hole of amazing content producers like Bestimo, Damien Keys, Adam Ivey, just to name a few. And you realise they all seem to mention this certain C word. And this C word is content. Like, I see content right here. But then it comes down to creating your own content and you can feel baffled with what channel to use or what content to create. <laughs> and I'm afraid the list has just got bigger. Spotify have made an announcement, which I believe to be a fantastic opportunity for artists to easily create some content that lets them express their personality, show everyone into their artistic world, but also connect with fans. And that's what I'm gonna cover in this video. So let's get to it. Welcome, my name's Daniel Fish and I help people survive and thrive in music by helping them navigate the sometimes bumpy and scary world of the music business. If that at all sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Before we get to the announcement from Spotify though, I think it's important we get some context on what Spotify have been up to lately. And it's no secret, while they've still been building their bread and butter of music, they've been putting a lot of money into the podcasting world. While they've been putting so much money, time and effort into building podcasts on their platform, they've also been taking some down. The podcasts they've been taking down are music podcasts, so like radio shows and DJ mixes. And we understand the reason for these being taken down as it is a infringement on copyright or could be a licensing issue. The people who are using these tracks typically don't have the rights to reproduce it or to be distributing it, which typically for podcasts are free. But now with understanding Spotify's latest announcement, that is true, but I feel like this has been part of their strategy all along to take them all down and wipe the slate clean of music podcasts. Because now they've just announced their own version of a music podcast. And you might be thinking, their own version, it's not gonna be much different. Music podcasts have been around for years. They've even been on their platform until recently. That is totally correct. But the way it's all built is quite exciting and interesting for, for two reasons, for monetization and for discovery. So now, in order to build one of these music podcasts on Spotify, you need to use their platform called Anchor. It is a podcasting platform that Spotify acquired a, a little while ago now. And what it means is when you're building this music podcast, you can add any track from Spotify's library into that podcast. That means when that podcast is played and that track is played, that track and its rights holders will receive a royalty, just like if it's played on a playlist or on an artist's feed, just like normal. Artists and rights holders will get paid for a track being played in a podcast, which is fantastic. But it's not just that. As you can see here, the podcast looks a bit different than the normal one. And that's because it's broken down per kind of like segment. This means when someone is listening to that podcast, they can directly click through to that artist's page, to the album, discover that whole artist discography from that podcast. This makes it like the ultimate discovery platform. How many DJ mixes or how many radio shows do you listen to and think, I wish I knew what this track was. You haven't had enough time to get Shazam out. Now, with it being on a music podcast, you can directly click through to it, find out all that artist, as well as saving it to your library, which is fantastic. I think it's personally great and a great opportunity for you to create content for your artistic brand and music. So now we're up to the question where we wonder, what is the opportunity here for artists? What can be made? What, how does this fit into the picture of an artist with content, with social media, with marketing? Let's first talk about the different avenues you could go down with a music podcast. One could just be a classic radio show, like radio, where you do a voiceover, then a track, then a voiceover, then a track, showcasing some of your favourite music, your music. You could have your own little weekly or monthly radio show, 
which could be based around your release campaign as well as showcasing some of your favorite artists, some of the up ta upcoming talent that you love. That's all there. But you could get quite clever and fit this into your ecosystem as an artist of building your network while also creating content for fans and other people. One classic version of a podcast is an interview podcast. Could this fit in with a music podcast? It certainly could, and this is where you could get really creative. You could build a concept for a podcast that is unique, not like many other people have, while also building your network as an artist and also connecting with fans, showcasing your personality and showing off your favourite music and your musical style. You could create a concept such as top 10 inspirations with. You could go around asking them the most fundamental and influential tracks in their career. That could be made into a podcast with those particular tracks in the podcast through building it in Anchor. As I said, that content could be built in your network. While you are creating that content, you're offering value to other people by having them on your podcast, interviewing them, letting them create their own piece of content, which when they share, grows your following too. But it's not just that. By creating that content, you can then share it with your fans who, through hearing your voice, hearing what you're into, showcasing some of your favorite music, will connect with you more. You can even have little segments for listeners on there. And you could quite easily create this piece of content based around music, which let's be honest, everyone loves listening to music. One final thing which is great with these music podcasts is you can still monetize them. You can still have sponsors on, you can still have partners to the podcast, even though you're playing other people's music as it's all part of this infrastructure Spotify have built. So you can still monetize them. You can create this content to grow your fan base and connect with fans while also expressing your personality and your artistic world and what you're into. There are a few little caveats though that I wanna cover before I finish this video. And the first one is this music podcast does have to be made on Anchor, which is the podcast and platform Spotify own. It does have to be made on Anchor, but it is free. So there's nothing to worry about there. And Anchor also have some great opportunities to get sponsors built in to Anchor's platform, which is exciting. The other caveat is I do believe you have to do some speaking on the podcast. It can't just be straight music after music after music because then that's a playlist. I do believe you do have to do some speaking on it, whether it's in between tracks and intro, outro, etc. But that's a great way of building your profile too. If you want to start speaking at some conferences or if you want to get a radio show down the line, there's your own little portfolio there. I hope this video has brought you value. If it has, please hit that subscribe button as currently I've got less than 50 subscribers. So it'd be great to have you as part of my first 100 subscribers. And if it has brought you value, please hit the like button as it does help in the YouTube algorithm. If you have enjoyed this video, I've got a video coming out next week exploring the current state of the industry and where the income is. With touring being on a temporary pause and a lot of big movies not being created, meaning there being less sinks around, where is the current income in the music industry? And that's what we're covering in the next video. So if you'd like to get a notification for that video, make sure you've hit that subscribe button as well as click the bell and you'll be hearing from me next week.